do a quick example over the alpha and beta triangle stuff. That's where we seem to be getting most confused. So the question asks, find the exact value of sine of alpha plus beta. Hopefully by now you recognize sine of alpha plus beta is a sum and difference identity. I don't have to specifically tell you that it is. Hopefully we can see that. As soon as we see that, we know we're going to use this formula right here. So I need to know what my alpha and beta is, and that's what this comes into play. Uh, right here, all this information. Okay, so we've got alpha and beta, so we're going to do an XYR for alpha and an XYR for beta. We're going to look at the information that's given and then use it. So it says sine of alpha is 4 fifths. Okay, so hopefully we know what sine is. Sine is, four, is y over r, so my y is 4. My r is 5. I can do Pythagorean theorem to find my x. It's 3. If I look at which quadrant I'm in, it says I'm between 0 and pi over 2. That means I'm in quadrant 1. So if I'm in quadrant 1, they're both positive. Then I look for my beta information. If beta is 5 over 13, that means, again, y over r, so my y is 5. r is 13. Pythagorean theorem to find my x. It's 12. Again, I'm between 0 and pi over 2, so I'm in quadrant 1. Positive, positive. Once I've got that set up, then I'm actually going to do the problem. It says, fine, sine of alpha plus beta. That means I'm using that formula. Sine of alpha, cosine of beta, plus cosine of alpha, sine of beta. All I'm going to do is write down the fraction for each one. So if it asks me for sine of alpha, I'm looking at the alpha triangle, and I'm doing y over r. What's positive? 4 over 5 times cosine of beta. Look at the beta triangle. Cosine is x over r, so 12 over 13. Plus cosine of alpha, so alpha triangle. x over r, 3 fifths, times sine of beta. So I go to my beta triangle. y over r, so I'm doing sine, 5 13 do the problem. All I need to do is multiply. 4 times 12 is 48 over 65 plus 15 over 65. Finally, I add 48 plus 15 is 63 over 65. And that is it. It's a problem that keeps giving us issues, but it's really pretty basic, pretty straightforward. If you have more questions, please ask.